boys. Welcome back to the Watchman Queen Center, man. Yes, sir, we are back. NFL quarterback Cam Newton goes on a sexist rant about women. Oh, my God. It's probably not sexist at all. You know, it's probably just a man explaining the truth about women. <clears throat> and a bunch of feminists and uh, women that do not like to hear the truth, take accountability, getting pissed off for it and turning and turning into something that is supposedly sexist or writing it off as something that is sexist. You know, <clears throat> listen, you know, I'm very, very aware that there are a lot of beautiful women, a lot of smart women, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, great women out there. You know, and I I want to, you know, assume that there's a lot of them in the Aqua Force, too, that watches McQueen. You know what I'm saying? You guys are a part of the squad. You guys are a part of the unit. All right? <clears throat> I really want to uh, assume that and believe that. And I do believe that. So with, with that belief, don't be one of those women that I explained in the beginning of the video. Do not do that to yourself. And when I say don't do that to yourself... I mean that because you are doing yourself a disservice by acting ignorant to things that would actually fucking help you if you just fucking listened. Do you know? It would take you a lot further in life. Seriously. Okay? There's a lot of things that y'all women just like to write off as sexist and this and that when in reality, you know, it's the, it might be the exact reason why, no, not, not might. It's the exact reason why you can't get no man, why you can't keep no man. You know what I'm trying to say? Uh, why niggas just look at you as sex objects, you know? Um, why friends might not even fuck with you. It's the it's the, it's the root of so many other uh, fucking things, you know? Because uh, you, you know, we all know accountability is a woman's kryptonite. So don't be one of those women, all right? Please get that fixed. Because it will help you a lot. Anywho. Let's get to the video. Let's see what this sexist rant is about. Bad bitch is a person who's just, you know, girl, I'm a bad bitch. You know, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I hate I, that. I, I hate that. I looked apart, but I don't act apart. Okay. Okay. You know, and it's a lot of okay. women who are bad bitches. And I say bitches in, in, in a way not to degrade a woman. Right. But just to, to, to go off the aesthetic of what they deem is a boss chick. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. In other words, nigga talk. In other words, nigga talk, you know. Or not in other words, but, you know, that's another context where we use the word bitches. You know what I'm trying to say? It's just nigga talk. Um, some bitches deserve to be called bitches, though, you know. But I, I, I'm not, I've never just, you know, dated a woman and been like, bitch. I've never done that. <clears throat> never done that. Raised a lot better than I won't, and I, I don't think I ever will do that, you know. Um, especially with me getting you know more older and mature and being able to have more control over my emotions, I don't think I would ever do that. I don't see myself doing that, but you know, when we with the, with, <clears throat> when we with the homies, when we the you know, what I'm saying the fellas, we gonna say that. Hey man, you look at them bitches over there, man. Damn, damn, that bitch bad, you know what I'm saying. And y'all females be calling y'all selves bitches all the time. So it's, it's, it's crazy how y'all get mad when niggas call y'all that. You know? Shit's crazy. But, uh, anywho. Let's... In, in, in a way, not to degrade a woman, but just to, to, to go off the aesthetic of what they deem is a boss chick. Okay. Now, a woman for me is handling your own yeah. and knowing how to cater to... A man's needs. Oh, mm. right. Mm. And I think a lot of mm. times when you get that aesthetic, of see, I don't want to <clears throat> sit here and pause and this and that, bro. Okay, but I gotta, I gotta make the comment on. I say this shit all the time. There is a difference between a bitch and a woman. All right. If you are a woman, <clears throat> you don't need to I I include yourself. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to attach yourself to any conversation that is talking about bitches. Okay. Because if you know yourself. Then you know you're not in that. Don't don't wear the shoe. If the shoe does not fit, do not wear it. But it brings out <clears throat> a lot of any woman who is mad at what he's saying is because he's talking about you, and you know that deep down, <clears throat> and it's pissing you off. So you call him sexist, you know. You call him a misogynist, whatever the fuck you want to call it. 
But you know deep down it's the truth, or else it wouldn't piss you off. Because when you know human nature is it's just a part of human nature that if someone says something and you know it pisses you off, there's some situations where it might not be true. But there's some truth to it if it pisses you off, if it makes you really mad that you gotta sit here and call niggas names, it's that you know. If a nigga just talking shit to you, you know, and it doesn't make sense. And you're more, in, and you're not really in control of your emotions. Yeah, it can piss you off. You know what I'm saying? I'm a victim of that all the time. You know what I'm saying? That's what I, a lot of entertainers are. You know, but <clears throat> if a motherfucker is spitting facts in a respectful way, like he is, and it's pissing you off, it's probably because it's true. You know, so you guys need to be. You know, there's a lot of women out there that need to be able to uh, to to understand that, be mature enough to recognize that. And have the maturity level to be able to be like, okay, you know what? He might be right. You know, it, it hurts for me to say that about myself. It sucks. But I definitely don't want to be that way. And I need to fix it. You know? So, uh, <clears throat> he's right about that. There's a huge difference between women and bitches. You know what I say? But knowing how to cater to a man's needs. Right. Right. And I think a lot of times when you get that aesthetic of like, I'm a boss bitch, like I'm a this, I'm a dad. No, baby, like, but you can't cook. Okay. You don't know, you don't know when to be quiet. Oh my gosh. Shit is crazy, man. I had an ex once, man. Claims to call herself a bad bitch, a boss bitch. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> Talks about how she need a nigga on her level with, the, you know, this, that, with the whoop. She doesn't fucking work at all. She's lazy as shit, okay? She doesn't have a fucking uh, license. She doesn't even have a driver's license, 23 years old. She doesn't have a car. She doesn't know how to cook at all. At all. But you call yourself a boss bitch. That, that's fucking crazy. That's fucking insane. And that's how a lot of you women are. Not women. Bitches are. That's a lot of you bitches are. <clears throat> okay? I'm going to say it one more time. Okay? Because I know women are emotional creatures. All right? If there's any women that are out there that are a part of the aqua force, I'm not talking about you if the shoe doesn't fit. Okay? I'm fully aware that there are a lot of great women out there. But if you, if this pisses you off, you got to do some inner work, for real. This this clip should not piss you off as a woman. It shouldn't. You know? Because what he's saying is facts. You know, y'all niggas love to complain about how niggas ain't shit, this, that, whoop, 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 you know? But, which a lot, and which, you know, there are some fucked up niggas out there. That's not, we're not going to sit here and act like that's not, that's not true. But a lot of the times, it be y'all fault. A lot of the times it be y'all fault, bro, because, you know, situations and, and, and relationships don't work out because you guys don't fix things like this. You guys think it's fucking slavery. When a motherfucker tells you to be compliant, when a motherfucker, you don't, you, when you don't let a man be a man, you know what I'm saying? When a motherfucker, you know, you, you guys hear the word, you know, compliance and think it's just like, we want y'all to be slaves. That's just ridiculous. No. We want a woman who fucking listens. You guys want a man who leads, right? Well, you got to be able to fucking listen if you want us to lead. Shit don't even make sense, you know? But it's just another case of women just, you know, you guys don't know what the fuck y'all want, man. Okay? Handle your own, but knowing how to cater to a man's needs, right? And I think a lot of times when you get that aesthetic of, like, I'm a boss bitch, like, I'm a this, I'm a dad, no, baby, like, but you can't cook. Mm. Okay. You don't know you don't know when to be quiet. Nope. You don't know how to allow a man to lead. Facts. Facts. Don't know how to allow a man to lead. Don't know how to allow a man to lead. Okay. We want a woman to be submissive. You guys hear that word. A lot of women out here hear that shit and be, oh my God, what the fuck? You went, I'm not your slave. This, that, it's 2022. Shut, the, shut up. And that's why in 2022, you don't have a man. Okay? 
just like in our world, all right, let's flip the script because I feel like a lot of the times you got to you gotta sit here and tell these women, you know, you got to give them both sides so to make them feel that they're not being attacked, you know, if you even care to do that. You shouldn't have to do that, but, you know, so I'm a queen and I have a good heart, so I'm going to explain it one time, all right? <clears throat> the same way that us men, unfortunately, we have to figure out that we can't motherfucking sit here and, you know, be too much of a... We can't show y'all too much motherfucking attention. We can't sit there and, you know... There's a lot of situations where I want a man to be obsessed with me. This, that, with you. Woo, 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 but, but if we get too clingy, that shit's unattractive to y'all, right? We got to figure that shit out, you know? And if a situation don't work out because we're being too clingy, even though it was coming from a good intention, a good place, and you get unattracted, hey, unfortunately, as much as it sucks to say that's our fault, we got to learn to figure that shit out and learn that we got to put ourselves first, love ourselves above all, and vice versa. And then that's what women are attracted to because that 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 oozes the energy of, you know, you don't I don't need you, you know. I love myself first. I'm going to stay on my path as a man. And it shows that. That that energy oozes from that and women are attracted to that. We have to figure that out though. Okay? Which is fucked up because y'all mislead us a lot of the times with what you want, how you want to be treated even though it's the opposite of how you want to be treated, okay? So now it goes, let's, 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 that's, that's, a, that's one example of the problems that we got to figure out as a man and be mature enough to fucking recognize and fix. Now, going back to what you guys need to fix is this shit. Fix it, okay? Or else bad things will keep happening. You won't, keep, you will not, you will continue not to win, Okay? The universe is going to keep motherfucking sending you these things. It's going to keep teaching you these motherfucking lessons over and over and over until your thick ass, until it gets to your thick ass fucking head. All right? Keep playing around. Keep it up. If you don't believe me, keep it the fuck up. All right? Just don't come back to me. All right? Because I took the time to fucking try to help you. All right, man. That's it for this video. Make sure you guys love it. Make sure you guys subscribe.